My name is Wade Wonka, and I'm very happy to be here to represent the Parks and Recreation Department in the city of Durham on this wonderful ceremony that we're opening a brand new park. Now, one of the best things about this park is there's four new soccer fields, and that's something that we know that the community has been looking forward to. All of our partners and stakeholders have been asking for more places for our community to play soccer and be active, so we're very happy to have that here. In addition to soccer fields, we have some great amenities for the entire community, including playgrounds and walking paths. And you see, now more than ever, this community and people across the country are looking ways to be outdoors and understand the value and the impact that Parks and Recreation, our programs and services have on the community's health and wellness and the impact that that makes. So we're happy to provide an opportunity like this to expand our footprint for everyone in Durham so they can be physically active and be outdoors and connect socially, but stay safe, physically distanced from each other. So thank you so much for being here. There's, like many great projects, this can't be done on its own. And this is no exception. We've had so many people, including our residents, including our soccer associations and partners, be a part of making this happen today. This includes, of course, support from our mayor and city council, our Recreation Advisory Commission, our City Manager's Office, um, and of course several staff that are here in attendance today. You'll hear from some of them today, and we couldn't have done it without our partners with Skanska that are doing all this great work with us. Next, I'd like to introduce one of the biggest champions for the community and this project in particular is Mayor Schultz. to make this possible is so exciting. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to David Fellerath uh, and Durham Atletico. Uh, David uh, is on our Recreation Advisory Commission and this is a group of people and if you all know anything about them, they, they meet very early in the morning. They're our only commission that meets early in the morning, they meet very early. And they uh, do the work of representing our community uh, with our Parks and Rec Department and with our city. A long time ago, uh, some years ago, five, six, seven years ago, uh, we pulled together a group of people, David was among them, to try to figure out how to get more soccer fields in Durham. And our city administration has been very opportunistic about that. And the, we are seeing here the fruits of that work. Uh, when the opportunity came up to buy this land, uh, Bo, I remember Bo saying to me, called me in his office one day, I was going by, and he said, I got something to tell you about. There's this land that's potentially available. And I was so excited. And now to see it at this stage, and knowing that pretty soon we're going to have some fantastic soccer fields is really exciting to me. Uh, this is my, I was, if I didn't have a hard hat on, this is what, this is my coaching hat. You will notice it's a soccer ball. And uh, this is my Riverside jersey. I coached soccer at Riverside for a long time and Brogdon and a lot of club soccer. And so I just, the idea that we're going to have these soccer fields is amazing. I also want to say it's great that it's in this part of Durham. One of the things that we know about this part of Durham, and unfortunately, the way I've been learning about it most recently is in the spread of COVID, um, is that a lot of our Latinx neighbors live in this part of Durham, and they have been really wanting more soccer fields. And so to have these soccer fields here is another gift, I think. So congratulations to everybody who's worked so hard on this. Thank you to the folks at Skanska. Thank you for the folks at Park and, Parks and Rec. Tom and all the people that have been planning, the folks at General Services. Uh, it's just it's just a wonderful day. After the ceremony, I hope that uh, with y'all's permission, I can walk down here and check out the uh, how the grading's going. As you all know, I'm a professional grader. No, just kidding. Uh, but I would love to see it. And uh, just want to say thank you. 
congratulations, and I want you all to know that on behalf of the whole city council, uh, that we're excited about this, and we're happy to be supporting more of it. Please bring it to us. So thank you. Opportunity and there was a need for athletic fields, and we were able to move swiftly and in earnest to capture that. And to bring us to this point, 2020, which is not necessarily a good year, but this is a great thing that's happening right now that we're able to deliver this. Um, on our team, we had um, Robin Parrish and David Fleischer in the real estate division, and we have Rod Florence, he's our project manager and project management, and Henry Prosperi. We went through a very robust pro um, process to select our design team and our CM team. And represented here today is Tim and Terry. We've got Blake Hall and some other folks with Tim and Terry. Raise your hands. And Sam is our CM team, Doug Sixon, and a few others. And what they bring to this is a collaborative approach as well as a genuine interest and um, love for soccer. So that makes another STARS alignment process. So we really appreciate their, their collaboration with us. And um, in about a year, 13 months, we'll have new soccer fields. And it currently is on schedule and on budget. So we look forward to turning the dirt and delivering this project for the community of Durham. And I'd like to introduce Beth Seymour. Thank you everyone and again my name is Beth Seaman and on behalf of Skanska thank you all for coming today and taking a part and coming and seeing what we're doing out here. It's exciting. Um, today's a really big day for Skanska as well as our part with the City of Durham, the Durham Parks Department, Timmins Group. We appreciate their work that they've done to help us get to this place. And actually this is like for me the best part of the day. It's time to turn the shovels and in this case really big shovels to make something happen here for the City of Durham. Um, and I congratulate Durham Parks and Recreation for having this vision for the community and for choosing Skanska to be your partner, and we appreciate that support. Um, the last two years have been very collaborative, as Gina mentioned, and we recognize this project today that we're celebrating is an important part of the community and a really a big investment for the children of Durham. Um, this is the ninth park that Skanska has worked on with the City of Durham and Durham Parks, and we appreciate that support and being able to be part of the community and really give back to the city that we, our, our offices are in, our employees live in, and some of our subcontractor partners also live here as well. So we are happy to give back to the community and be part of this, this wonderful project that we're working on today. Um, and we are proud to be a partner with the City of Durham and really looking forward to the community being able to share in this adventure with us. So thank you again for coming today and we'll be happy to give tours on a better day. I know thank you to my partners out here. Jordan Farrington is our project manager and Richard Connage is our superintendent. And they love being out here and making sure that everybody's out here safe, especially for our workers and our, our everybody that comes out. So thank you again for coming out and, and having us as your partner. Thank you, Beth. Uh, just as we're starting to wrap up, I just want to thank everyone again for braving the weather. It's obviously, it's important to the community as it shows so many people showed up on, on this day. Uh, a special shout out to Tom and his work, wherever oh, there he is, Tom for all your work on this project. And of course, let's give a round of applause for Cynthia, who coordinated all the logistics today uh, with the tent and everything like that. So thank you so much. And I've never seen it before in my entire life, but there's some little takeaways out there where she actually achieved making dirt look cute. 
as you can see right here. So please uh, take one of those as a, as a token of, of today's uh, event. So up next, the moment we've all been waiting for is we get to play with some gold shovels. So I would like to invite members of the city council, the mayor, the city manager's office, and staff involved in this project and our partners. Uh, we'll do this in shifts. So if you can grab a shovel right over here, um, and then we'll line up, spread out, uh, to do a ceremonial toss. And then after that, we'll wipe down the shovels, have those clean, and then we'll do a second phase of dirt toss. So please come on up.